real quick, how many new people do we have today? Raise your hand. I've got four. Uh, okay, so she's out. So now I've got three. <laughs> Raise your hands again. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Turn it over to you. All right, so um, Matt with Big Vision Media Group today. A few weeks ago, I was Matt with FitWorks.com. Um, I technically have four different businesses, and no, I don't have any time between that and two kids and everything else. So. <laughs> um, but today, I just wanted to share uh, with you about uh, Big Vision Media Group, which is a marketing company. And does anybody know the difference between sales and marketing? Just real quick. I used to joke about this when I wasn't in marketing. What, Victor, what do you think? Marketing is just kind of putting your game out there, and sales is trying to generate sell product. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. So I used to joke, I used to be in corporate strategy for one of the big companies in Kansas City, I think that what happened to City Sprint. And I always used to joke that marketing is the is the group because I was the corporate strategy and had the budget and everything, and they're the group that spends all the money. And sales is a group that brings all the money in. Um, so if, if any of you guys are in marketing or sales, and I, it, it appears that I slam you, I'm really not, because I've been in both fields, and I know John like you have too. Um, one of my favorite quotes about really what sales and marketing is about is, uh, is by a, a gentleman named Ben Arment. He's probably one of the most creative business thinkers um, that I follow. He, he blogs every once in a while. He says, there is a difference between sales and marketing. Marketing is the act of creating demand for what you have to offer. Sales is the act of convincing someone to buy it anyway. Sales exists because demand does not. And I love that, of course, because now I'm a marketer. And that's my job, is to help create demand for product XYZ. So today I'm just gonna tell a little bit of our story of, of how we, um, how we got started. So as I said, I used to, to work in corporate strategy at Sprint, and um, like about half of Sprint, I think they're probably, literally probably half of Sprint. I started when Sprint had 85,000 employees, and they're at least down in that 40,000 range. So I was one of those 40,000 people that they you know, decided they didn't need anymore, which is actually completely fine, because if I had to go back, I'd probably slip my wrist. Um, <laughs> So, um, how Big Vision came to exist as my business partner, um, who you've probably seen, uh, Pam Hausner, she's presented up here for a nonprofit that we helped um, co-found. And uh, essentially, Pam was looking for someone that had some social media experience and some strategy experience, and that's kind of a role that I fulfilled at Sprint. And we kind of had a mutual contact, and it was that kind of referral. And, and we decided that, wow, this is gonna be a perfect fit. And one of the things that we realized early on, and this is a big component of what we do in our business as Big Vision Media Group, um, we can build a website for anybody. In, in all reality today, people are like, well, what, what kind of marketing do you do? Is it integrated? Is it, and yeah, it's all integrated, but it's 90% digital. I mean, probably 95% digital. Do we do print design? Absolutely. Are we awesome at it? Yes. Um, you know, we have printing capabilities as well, um, but that is so rare in today's world. I mean, every once in a while we might do business cards or flyers for someone, but the way we, as human beings, interact today is digital. So that's where we spend most of our time. Um, and so, essentially, I'm trying to get to my notes here. Um, essentially, that's how we got started is, is Pam and I met, we realized that um, it's more than just websites. And so we transitioned from being just a web shop to really a full service marketing. And we spend as much time on branding. You guys have heard me talk about branding. Branding is not your logo. It's not the colors. It's not the font you use. Branding is a, is a corporate version, a business version of our personal character. It is what your business is when people have their eyes closed and they're thinking about whatever your business name is. And we spend as much time on that as we do on the tactics of actually creating apps and websites and social media posts. 
And so that's that's kind of how we got started in the, the high level of what we do. So um, I put this up here because there's there's a Kansas City is very unique in the marketing world. So depending on what statistics you go by, um, but Kansas City is kind of made up of big companies and big industries. So these are obviously the big companies, and, and I think you could probably pick all these, and I, I bet you half the room has probably worked for one of these companies or definitely know someone who has. But the big industries that are in Kansas City are ag, as I think we all know, high tech, um, and then advertising, believe it or not. Kansas City, and the reason is is because and here's the deal is, is, like I said, half of Kansas City is probably employed by Sprint, and half of those people were in the marketing department of Sprint. So what they did is when they got laid off, um, they stuck their, you know, their shingle out and said, I own a marketing agency, and we do X, Y, Z. Or if you work for Barclay Evergreen, and when they lost the Sonic account, they laid off 300 people. Well, guess what? Those 300 people all became marketing agencies. And so Kansas City actually has the four, they're the fourth largest city in the United States for marketing agencies. So there's, there's LA and New York, the obvious, Miami, maybe Chicago, depending on the year, and then Kansas City. So how do we, as Big Vision Media Group, distinguish ourselves within that? But this is how we do it. Um, we were Kansas City's first uh, certified B, corporate, B corporation and the second in the state of Missouri. We're, we're actually no longer certified. We're trying to, we're, we're getting back. B, B Corp, if you're not familiar, is not a legal entity in the state of Missouri. It is um, simply a certification. There are 26 states that do have that. Um, just like we're an S Corp, um, when Missouri enacts the legislation, we will actually become an LLC as a B Corp, which stands for Benefit Corporation. And essentially, a benefit corporation has to have at least one of these major components. It's very hard to become a B corporation. Patagonia, Ben and Jerry's, a few other companies you've probably heard of those. Those are B corporations because of their social and environmental um, policies that they've enacted, and their their whole corporate strategy and their transparency. Um, and about over 10,000 companies have actually applied worldwide to become a certified B corp and only about 1,000 have actually passed that. And so we are very proud when we got this certification. Like I said, it's a three-year three uh, certification and you have to renew it. So we're in the process of going through that renewal again, um, where we have to go through interviews and we have to open our books and through all that. So for us as Big Vision Media Group, we're all about social, local, and sustainable. That is where we kind of draw the line in the sand and we're very big about working with organizations, businesses, and nonprofits that have one of those components. Um, so we work with a lot of very small local businesses. Very, very rarely will we work with a national organization or say a chain or a franchise unless they're something like within the sustainable, sustainable industry or within the social cause. So here's what we do. Most people identify marketing or advertising agencies with kind of those bottom bullets where they're talking about websites, logos, print design, but really that's the third step. That's the acting. Those are all the tactics we do. And what, what, like I said earlier, the identifying and the plan number one and number two, that's where we're talking about brand development and strategy. Um, and it isn't until we get to number three where, where we generally associate marketing with that's what the public is gonna end up seeing, the message that we're communicating. And then we analyze our work. Um, any good marketer, if you can't put data to what you're doing, then you're probably not worth your salt. Um, now, marketing isn't an exact science, so there's not a, it's not always a perfect calculation. In the digital world, it's much better, right? We have fantastic analytics there. But even there, it's kind of some best guesses sometimes. And so, so that's what we do. Um, video got cut off at the very bottom, but essentially, we kind of bill ourselves as a full service agency. So we really can do it all. Um, we're very small. We have myself, my business partner, one employee, and we intentionally keep it that way. We utilize contractors that way. We have a pool that we consistently go to. Um, almost every one of those contractors are local. A few of them are outside the city. But we have, for instance, some of the very best videographers and video production 
um, individuals that I've ever seen. They've done work literally on an international level. Um, so we've got some of the best developers in the world, some of the, you know, from a PHP and all the, the languages and, and capabilities. And we love it that way. Um, it allows us to be fast and nimble. And so that's who we are as an organization. That's Big Vision Media Group. Any questions?